Hey, what's up? I've been making a lot of tech videos lately for, you know, other engineers and producers. I thought I'd make something more for musicians. So uh, this is a quick little tour of the studio again. Um, so we're in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Uh, and really we're even off to the hills from Doylestown, uh, closer to the river. Uh, we're about an hour north of Philly, about two hours uh, west of New York City and a uh, really beautiful country. Uh, the studio is 3,000 square feet in my backyard, and uh, it's, again, really a wonderful big space, very uh, funky, creative. Um, as you can see, uh, this part of the room is set up for drums. Uh, we have a custom drum kit made by Chris Carr at Bucks County Drums. Um, really an amazing kit and um, although you're also of course welcome to bring your own um, some iso over here we can always throw amps in there singers this is our studio b um, it's also it doubles as uh, an iso booth but uh it really um it's a it's like a produce a producer suite um where uh you can come in uh and if you know uh, your software, Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton, anything like that. Um, you can rent this room uh, at a vastly reduced price and still have, um, you know, really excellent hardware and software to play with. Um, we have the Apollo X4 as the main interface. There's a Focusrite ISA channel strip for uh, recording vocals. And these look like very innocent NS10s, but they're powered by a big ass beefy Bryston amp and they also have a powered sub. It's a really awesome 2.1 system and it's actually really great. Um, you don't know NS10s until you've put 250 watts through each channel. <laughs> Trust me, it's a different experience. But if they're not your cup of tea, we also have a pair of Quested uh, V2108s that can be put in here for you as well. So that's an option. Uh, while we're in here, here's a little peek at our gorgeous Flea microphone. This is a Flea uh, 47, which is their rendition of a classic Neumann tube U47 mic. And they did a beautiful job on it. It's a really great mic. Uh, so that's fun. Moving on, uh, again, the live room is 2,000 square feet. Um, and that end, <laughs> uh, there's the bathroom in the corner. Uh, that large stand-up fridge always has bottled water in it. There's always Starbucks coffee and lots of different teas and an electric kettle and honey. Um, try to make people comfortable. This is the booth for our A studio. And right now we have a desk in here that's actually going. Uh, we're passing that on to someone so they can use it in their studio but uh this was very convenient in the middle of COVID because artists were able to sit in here and listen on those speakers and we were able to duplicate what was on our computer on this screen so basically people were able to quarantine and still get work done but fortunately we haven't needed to do that for a while things have been cool lately so uh it's a 12 by 16 booth it could fit drums but we've never done it because the drums sound so good out there but we've done lots of other interesting things in there uh, group vocals blasting amps things like that uh and here is the main control room studio a studio ah studio a um couch coffee table it's a little disheveled because i'm in producer mode right now i'm doing uh guitars for an artist uh matt friedman and also doing vocal editing and mixing and all kinds of fun stuff but um these are pmc monitors and this bad boy we just added last november this is our api box console this is an all analog really gorgeous high quality mixer and this is even newer this is our SSL UC1 controller um, this works with SSL plugins but it's hardware control for them so it's really it's a lot of fun to use um, and then the rack the wall of sound um, just lots of fun stuff in there 
if you know, you know, you know. And this is my personal pedal board, but it is, of course, available to anybody who works here. Um, lots and lots of different sound varieties between uh, the two even tight H9s. Um, these are both amazing overdrive pedals. Um, uh, just lots of good stuff. Um, and uh, just instruments everywhere. Uh, <laughs> lots and lots of instruments. You know, there's our Gretsch guitar, our P bass. Um, in that case is the Tele. Uh, there's a banjo back there. There's a Taylor on the wall. Uh, just lots and lots of fun stuff. Um, you can see a list of all the amps, instruments, and mics, and everything else. Um, let's see, down here, uh, this is our vintage, let's see if I can get the bag off, RCA, ribbon mic, yay, hello. That thing is a lot of fun. Um, and that was a new acquisition as of last year. So that's it. I just wanted to do a little tour for the musicians. Um, and that's our Yamaha piano over there. It's really nice upright. Um, and we have a Hammond M3, although to be honest with you, the, the Nord has been sounding so good that we've pretty much been using that for most of the Hammond work lately. Um, but you know, it's always about options. So uh, that's it. All right, thanks for coming on the tour. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments or send me an email or whatever. Give me a call. Anything you want to do. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.